Hey everybody, welcome back. Today is a video loosely based on F. We're at the letter F on our Join the Jewelry journey. However, I didn't have enough costume or even nice finer designer F that starts with a letter F design. So we're gonna work with things that are fancy here, fashion, checking the finish on things, seeing if anything needs fixed, if there's any filth on anything, make sure it's fungus free, no verdigris, which is a green gunk disease that ends up on some of the jewelry. So we're gonna have a fantastic fun time with all this fancy jewelry. So here this we piece go. right here led me to want to make this video today because of it does have the verdigris on it. Verdigris, verdigris. Pop a picture up closely of the the verdigris, verdigris disease that's on this earring. However, I am gonna try to clean this for y'all. A lot of people use ketchup, vinegar. There's different ways. However, the metal might be already so broken down, like a disease and you know, in people, it's, it's on this piece of jewelry. So when you find something like this with this kind of disease, don't mix it with your other jewelry because it can, it's contagious and other jewelry can catch it. So you want to keep this away from any other jewelry or discard it. However, I'm going to try to clean it for you today. Now, I don't want to soak this faux pearl in any kind of acidy vinegar because it will take the sheen off and mess this pearl totally up so we're gonna take it totally off there we go we got it free I got some vinegar sitting over here let's see I'll show you right here and I'm going to just pop this diseased little earring in this vinegar bath and I'll let it sit for approximately 10 to 20 minutes and check it probably periodically as I go as well so that's gonna soak in there and when it's done, we'll we'll bring it out and we will definitely check and see if it made a difference. So, hey Alexa, set a timer for 10 minutes. So that's set and we'll check it in 10 minutes. Okay, so let's put on our gloves today. We're gonna be working with chemicals. You want a place that's ventilated with some of these. You do not wanna be breathing this. And I don't say it's dangerous per se, but it's not something you really wanna be ingesting, so. I'm gonna put these gloves on too. Keep my fingers protected. We'll try the sand dollar piece right here and we'll dip it, see if it'll come back to its natural shine of silver. So we're gonna take it, we're gonna dip it in the Goddard's silver dip. I'm just gonna put it down in here. Yep. Let you see. Pair of tweezers. Get our water over here so we can just. I usually normally clean these at the sink, but I'm doing it here in my little jewelry area. Oh, you can already see it's starting to, to get really shiny. So it's working. It really is. But now there's people that prefer the patina, the tarnish on stuff. So I am leaving in the description. If you want your pieces to shine like new, let me know and I'll clean them before they send out in the shipping process. So, all right. Well... Let's look at it and see how good it looks. Not too bad, it's lovely. So that's how I would do the actual silver side of cleaning jewelry. Like just like that. Yep, I would. Um, there's other black and tarnished pieces that are sitting here. Let's see. Let's do this ring right here. We're going to, we're going, I'll zoom in so you can see it up really closely. You can see how tarnished it is. If I can get it in screen. Well, you can see inside it's got tarnish all around the bands, but this is sterling silver. Zoom out. Take the guttered silver dip. Sounds like I'm a spokesperson for them, but I'm not. I just like it when it comes to cleaning tarnish off silver. And just dip it a couple times. And look, it's already starting to come to a natural shine, back to the silver original shine. So let's dip it in the water next. Clean it up a little. Okay, 
some polishing cloth, dry it up. Now let's let's zoom in and see it up tight how it looks. Oh yeah, beautiful. The shine is um almost as original as you would see it probably in a showroom floor. It is definitely, you know, ninety percent better than what we had originally, uh, you know, a minute ago. So, but hang on one second. I'm gonna look at it up close and tell you what it's stamped inside. This has nine two five and no other markings. So it is a it is a sterling silver piece. So that's good. Looks great, y'all. Yep. Very nice. Now, when it comes to fashion that is not silver or gold, you got to do it a little bit differently. You cannot just be nilly willy throwing it in the gutter's dip and think it's going to do it because it won't. You can ruin faux pearls that have a sheen of the pearl around the surface, and you don't want to do that. Or, per se, this one with the enamel. You can, you can take a Q-tip and, and dip it in the silver dip and and lightly polish around different areas on a piece like this but I would not actually just dip this and let it sit in it at all because you will ruin the enamel the shine the sheen but but to clean it up a little that's fine and it will do it it'll take off some of this uh, tarnish patina that's on this even fashion silver tone jewelry as well so that's another little tip Take a Q-tip and just dip it in the water and wipe off the areas. And before you know it, it it's back. You know, it's coming back to a, a beautiful sheen, a shine. So that's how I would work with this type of jewelry here. Now, there's another way you would do um, something like this. I would not even do water on this piece. I wouldn't do silver dip. It is a fashion piece, a scatter pin that has pearls that are glued in, prong set, foil back, gemstones. Dipping this could loosen everything up and you'll have a mess on your hands. So on something like this, I would most likely use a little bit of alcohol on a Q-tip, which I have over here, some alcohol right here. Open it up and get another Q-tip. And just a little. I, I wouldn't I wouldn't just dunk it in the alcohol. I would just do a little and just lightly rub around the stones, you know, the different sides, the metal, and definitely take extra special care with a piece like this because otherwise you may have a mess on your hands. Like I say, you may have the faux pearls popping out, the actual silver tone or gold tone flaking off. So this is one I would do with a little bit of alcohol. It dries fast and then I would just set it aside and let it dry. I have a, a Taco Bell bowl over here and it actually has um, like a little raised surface and just set it in there and it it, it has space between to, to just air dry and that's what you want on that kind of piece. Also, this has stones but it has a silver silver 925 flower and if you want it to look great again and not have the tarnish or the patina you can do again the q-tip a little silver dip on a q-tip zoom out grab your q-tip dip it in a little bit of the silver dip and just lightly rub the back the front and i wouldn't get any on these pearls or the actual gemstones just keep it to the actual sterling silver flower that's here and again lightly Alexa cancel timer so that right there let, let's stop with this bracelet for a moment and go back to our vinegar we're hoping that the verdigris or the vergus is loosening off of this earring in the vid in the vinegar vinegar <laughs> in the vinegar and it is looking a little better, actually. So, I mean, I wouldn't do it more than 20 minutes, per se, because the metal has already been attacked by the diseased uh, green vertigrease on it, the gunky stuff. If you've ever seen it, you will not forget it. But um, it looks to me that this is um, actually, let me dip it in the water here, looking better. So let's set it down. 
Let's put the lid back on the alcohol for the moment. And actually back on the vinegar. Set these feet, set these little bowls aside so we can have a good look at that earring. And now this is where I would use some kind of microfiber, glasses, cleaner cloth to actually just, you know, rub off some of the the water and all that you just the vinegar that you just used to clean this piece. And actually I'm I'm kind of hopeful for this piece now. I was actually thinking it all was lost. Like I there was no hope for it, but there's a stone in the middle which could be crystal. I'll zoom in so you can see that up closely. And I was kind of concerned when I saw that on this piece and thinking I couldn't save it, but now I'm kind of thinking maybe we can. So then you would just assemble it again. You would assemble back your pearl on it, put it back on the little hook here, and take your... You would take your needle nose pliers that are not serrated, you don't want anything that's going to mess up your metals, and just bend it back into place right here so that the pearl is back securely on this earring. And the reason why I, I did this one as a test, I don't have another one. I just have this one. <laughs> but it had what I needed in the aspect of the green vertigris, vertigree disease on it that we wanted to clean off. So I, I'm hopeful. This piece looks great. So, so vinegar works good on that kind of thing with that kind of metal. And it didn't hurt the stone sitting in it. Of course, I did. It. You saw me take the pearl off. Now we'll just set it over in the little tray and let it dry as well. And there's, you know, toothbrush, lightly brush on things, whether it be like this little butterfly uh, pin brooch, you know, you can lightly dust and clean. I have this pair of earrings. They're just fashion earrings. They are not anything of high value. However, they have foil backs. Um, as you can see, it's kind of like a mirror. They call them foil backs. It kind of gives more shine to the the fashion jewelry or even a fine piece that has a foil back. But you can see how clean this one looks and how shiny and how beautiful. Well, I didn't do this one yet. And I will show you how I clean this one. I want them to both be clean. So I actually use face fragrance-free face towelettes. And if it works on your face, why wouldn't it be soft on a piece of jewelry? So I got a piece here and I already cut it to make it smaller. And I actually just took my tweezers and bundled up a little bit of a, a lump of the, the face cleaning towelette and just wipe around that foil, clean it all on the, from the inside, from the back side, the front side, this towel is not going to hurt it. You can use it around your face, so it will not hurt it. It comes back, it actually comes back to such a beautiful shine, even though it's fashion jewelry. And all is not lost then. Somebody can enjoy these or wear them. I mean, if, if this was something I would enjoy, I would wear these. And I just think they're beautiful. I mean, the color came back, the, the shine. I'll lay them over here and let them dry out too. But back to this little bracelet before we were so in interrupted by the vinegar bath. It, it's the one with the stones and the 925 flower. Um, again, Goddard Silver Dip. Wipe, scrub, 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 just lightly. You don't need a whole lot. And try not to, like I say, get any on any of the other stones. And you'll be able to clean those petals one by one. And before you know it, your flower is looking like bright silver again. So that's that's the way I would do that. And then a little bit of water just to clean that actual chemical off of it. Let's see. So we're going to dip this whole thing. It's a moon celestial type little slider pendant on a snake chain. And I think this possibly will shine up like new. So let's give it a shot here. Bring the gutters. Silver dip 
over here front and center and I'm just gonna go ahead and just put it right down in there and let it sit for a couple seconds at least a you know half a minute probably 30 seconds I got some paper towel over here to keep these that's why I'm wearing my gloves today I want to make sure I'm, I mean my fingers get dried out with sorting jewelry as it is and getting chemicals on your fingers well not be good for your skin so we got it sitting here and it's actually starting to change and starting to turn back to a silver look so that's great so anyone that doesn't prefer the actual tarnish you can bring it back to an original silver shine let's dip it in the water now okay not as shiny as I'd like for it to be but it's actually better than it was and then just dry it and look look what you're getting off just from that little bit of dipping and and before you know this piece will come back to a normal natural original sterling silver shine and that's what some people desire some people want that blackening of the metal the tarnish and some don't so that's why I am going to just keep it in the description of a silver piece if you'd like your piece clean let me know and I will for shipping so look at there it's looking beautiful we'll let that sit over here and dry out as well in our little taco bell bowl <laughs> you have to know what your piece is made of you have to understand if it's got enamels glass crystals this is a Swarovski crystal ballerina this is a rare piece it doesn't need much cleaning per se, but like I would do a little alcohol on her because you do not want to loosen any of these crystals with any kind of water, you know, chemical, vinegar. You do not want to clean this with any kind of chemical, any kind of vinegar. I wouldn't soak it in water, but now a little bit of alcohol on a Q-tip should help this lady shine up. So let's put a little bit of alcohol. We'll try to get it over here. This is your alcohol right here. And, and lightly rub her, her arm and her chest and her face, legs. I wouldn't do a whole lot around the crystals. The bottom of her skirt and the back. And, and, and before you know it, it's starting to shine up like a new penny. <laughs> so there, that's how I would clean something like that. Yep. Lay it over here and let it dry out some. This is a Claire's bracelet, and it's made out of some kind of mixed metal. However, I would chance dip in it, and I'm going to. Here we go. I'm going to chance dip in it, see if it'll do it. This is... This is actually a trial and error for both of us right now. You and me, because I don't know. This one, I do not know. Oh, it looks like it's trying to shine it up so that's the Goddard Goddard's silver dip in this little cup this is just plain water in this cup get another paper towel try not to drip everywhere on my little area here all right let's see what it does get another paper towel here well, it's not too dirty, but it sure did shine up. Even though it's just fashion jewelry, mixed metals. It didn't hurt it. I don't see that it even messed it up at all. So that might be something you can do. But now, you know, you will do it at your own risk. Because I cannot guarantee. I'm just trying to show you a little bit of how I clean my jewelry. And process it. This one I might want to dip again. Even though we dipped it once already. It's beautiful, but I think it can shine up a little bit more. Let's try it one more time in the silver dip. I'm going to let it sit in there for a second. And this, this is a, a silver tone dolphin brooch with the initials MJ, which is Marie Jennifer. This artist was only in business for approximately 20 years, and they're not putting out she's not putting out any designs anymore so these are, are sought after even though they're just fashion jewelry but this is one I would do with alcohol just rub 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 
Yep. Rub around the dolphins. Rub the back with a little alcohol. Clean it with a little water. And shine it with a polishing cloth. And that's about all you'll need to do on pieces like this. But let's go ahead and get this little silver piece out because it's been sitting there for a minute. And get our handy dandy tweezers out. Get this back out again. Back in the water. Yep. It looks like it's really coming back to a beautiful 925 shine. Some people want it, some don't. So we're, we're just testing it today, trying it out. Get your paper towel and dry it a little bit. And see how good it looks. Oh yeah, it's really starting to come back. And you can tell there's still darkening of maybe somebody just loved it more at every day um, coming off on the paper towels. So, you know, patina, tarnish, it happens with your skin. If you wear a lot of perfume, per se, which I love perfume, or, or creams or lotions, that will help tarnish a piece quicker as well. Just a little bit of information for you. This one has a mark and it says stir, which is sterling. Let's zoom in so you can see it. Well, I can't zoom in for some reason. There we go. It says stir right there across the edge. So This is looking a whole lot different than when we first um, observed it a few minutes ago. So um, Let me see if there's anything else I want to talk to you about. People say, you, you know, vinegar is in ketchup. Use it on vertigree, vertigris, uh, disease jewelry ketchup. I just used vinegar. I mean, this is just a malt vinegar from the from the fish, fried fish place, but all I have in this little container over here is white vinegar. Yep. So there's tips and tricks. Um, these are all darkened from patina. Silver dip would probably make a difference on those. I only have this one earring, so let's just dip it and see what happens. You can, I'll zoom in so you can see how how tarnished it is how, how much patina it has now it's almost black all right the silver dip I mean if it's just all silver no stones you can just you can just dip it in the silver dip solution you don't have to worry about if you're gonna ruin anything oh my goodness look at that all right, where's our little water container? Over here. Just you know, take the solution, silver dip solution off by soaking it in a little bit of water. Dry it with your paper towel. And if we had two of these, these would be on my eBay store. <laughs> if I had two, it would, but I only got the one. But I'm using it for demonstration purposes today. Look at that. The shine is simply gorgeous it's not black anymore yep so that's a little bit on how to clean jewelry you know you can see that it does make a difference if you take a little time and a little patience with your pieces and i can do all the silver that way but um, I've mentioned in previous videos i kind of like to leave them with their natural tarnish their natural patina what they've earned over the years that they've, you know. Just remember, became. if you have a piece that has foil backs, um, faux pearls, prong set, if you do a lot of wetting it, you may ruin those stones. So lightly wipe things with cloths. Avoid a bunch of liquid on this type right here. Mostly just wipe, wiping, wipe, wipe, wipe. A little bit of alcohol will help this. I wouldn't throw it in an alcohol bath just lightly rub and clean the leaves the stones but I would not dunk it not this type because you do not want to let it sit in something that's going to take the faux pearl sheen off or mess up any of the foil that's on the prong set stones so that's my advice for today um, something like this another one I wouldn't dip I would get my toothbrush, per se, maybe a little bit of alcohol, lightly, 
and clean milk glass earrings without soaking them too much. Alcohol um, evaporates quickly, so it's not really soaking. If you're just lightly putting it on with a Q-tip or if you're just lightly dipping your toothbrush in it. But it just, it really does clean it very nicely. And then just set them aside to dry. And that's about where we're at today. You know, I wouldn't dip this as well. This is another example. These, this is a fashion piece, enamel, inlaid with stones. But if you, if you dunk this or you leave it soaking, you're going to soak out some of these stones. And you do not want to do that. If you love this piece, I would not soak it. So, I believe we've given out the information that we want to share today. Um, if there's anything you want to know, leave us a comment below. And I hope you all have a wonderful day. And we'll see you on the next one. Hopefully tomorrow. Bye-bye.